morning all. Um, I've got myself back out now for a 24 hour. I've got my daughter with me on this session as you would have seen on the intro. Um, it's not the Park Lake as promised. Uh, it's not a place that I really want to be taking my daughter on an overnight. It's somewhere I'll be fishing alone that. Um, I'm back down on the Little Moss Nook uh, in my hometown. A few nice fishing. We've had a good walk around now and uh, we've seen one or two now just cruising along the surface in the sun. So I'm going to stick one out there on a the zig and I'm going to fish another one to a, an, o an area that I know in a nice eight foot area uh, on top of a, a raised area what's surrounded by weed in deeper area. They, they seem to be cruising above that so I'm going to fish one on the zig over that and I'm going to stick a chod rig just to the side of it just, just where the weed starts slightly. Um, just take a little look at the, the rig that I'm using. It's, it's nothing special. Just basically a little chod rig, a nice small one. Uh, as you see there's a loop on it without the swivel. The reason I, I do this is because I use a quick change a helicopter rig swivel on the lead core and I just attach with the loop and pull the shrink tube down over the top of it. It's, it saves retying, um, und undoing your lead core when you're attaching your, your new chod whenever you get lucky enough to land one. And on the, on the zig, I just fish trim down pop-ups and they insert a little bit of cork to make them super buoyant and with, the, with trimming it down and revealing the inside, this, this will soak up oils and help with fish attraction. I'm going to fish this around four foot. So hopefully anything below it and anything above it will see it, it does stand out and it, with the oils leaking off it should could induce a bite. So I'm going to get these rods out now, get myself set up, I'll try and catch up with you a bit later but I've got spending some time with the daughter on the bank for this 24 hour while the sun's nice. A nice February morning now and hopefully we could be lucky enough, you never know. So thanks to all the guys watching and hopefully catch up with you soon with a bit of progress but if not it's, it's about spending time with, with, with your children, with your family soon enough the little lad will be joining us as well so that'll be nice and a, a nice family out in fishing it's better than sitting in front of the uh, computers at home out there in the, in the wilderness now enjoying yourselves with all the wildlife around you and so hopefully catch up a bit later and thanks for everyone that's subscribed and watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Morning, just a little recap. The lake froze over last night. Spent much of the night trying to uh, keep it all clear around the rod tips, which I managed to do while the little one was fast asleep in there. Uh, she's enjoyed herself, so that's all that matters. Still got the rods in. It's only thin cat ice. I've got enough room to play fish if it does go off. I'm going to give it another hour or so and then I'm going to make my way back home. <laughs> Got a nice uh, steak dinner for, for get down us, so it's not all lost. Uh, we lost that one fish in the weed yesterday afternoon. But uh, it's good for it get out. Hopefully, I'll, I'm going to do one, one or two more sessions on here through the winter. Should start picking up soon. I've had some nice fish out of here up to now over this winter. Not had them all on camera, but. Uh, it was, some of them was before I started doing these vlogs around December and early January time. So, like I said, this this lake it's uh, 17 pound a night. You've got fish running up to 25, 26 pound. 
there's also a 50 plus sturgeon swimming around in here. Uh, God knows what else, you, you don't know, I speak to the owner on a regular basis. He says there's a few surprises in here, what's come out in the netting, but he's leaving it up to the anglers uh, to publicise them when they do catch them. Um, it's not a very busy water, like this time of the year, <clears throat> there's only been myself and one more guy turned up at the top end last night for, for, a, for a weekend with fish, fish to 20 plus in, it's very quiet, you've got six swims, so you've got plenty of room, they're all nice swims, okay. I'll put a link up after this uh, in the comments. If, if anyone in the area fancies coming down, maybe once spring arrives, it could be a water to catch a good few in a session. It's very weeder. There's, there's bars, there's lumps, there's holes, there's silts, silt channels, pockets. There's a bit of everything here. Get up the trees, have a look. They do, they do, they do. They, do, they are very visual. There's a good few gorses. There's some nice. Mid twenty, some commons up to mid twenty, mirrors up to mid twenty also. So, if you fancy a try of it, pop down. Seventeen pound for twenty four hours. It's uh, it's a no brainer for winter. If you want somewhere quiet, obviously it's in a built up area, but you are behind a secure lock gate, and there's fencing all around it, so you are left alone. It's somewhere you can enjoy yourself. But uh, this this is going to be all for me. We're going to be packing up in the next hour. And uh, hopefully get myself back out soon. I've got my son's first birthday coming up, so I'm not going to be fishing. As he's got plenty of plans with it being his first birthday, taking him out and stuff like that. So hopefully get out just after that, or maybe just before that. You never know. Been putting a bit of bait in the park lake. There's been one or two anglers on though, and there's not very many fishing areas because it's the sailing club and the park rangers have closed some swims off and grassed it all over where there's no fishing now. So you've got like two swims down at the bottom and you've got three near the duck feed. So it's just going to be some careful timing. If it, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I've still got this place, I've still got the big dam, you know, so all's, all's well. So hopefully see you all soon. Thanks for watching.